So let's continue working with this design. Of course, it's not a professional design at the moment, but let's try to simulate something really, really common. A design that takes two, two tiers from the full content and then a small space to add a small sidebar. So let's add something like a div with a class. We're gonna add a row and this row will surround all the other divs. Something like this. And then we add a div with a class large eight columns. And let's close this one right here. And then we create another one that says div with the class large four columns. And then we close this one right here. So let's save and reload. And you can see that we have this space taking more, well, eight columns of the 12. And this is small sidebar on the right. These are really, really common design. This day, especially in blogs, for example, they have the main area and a sidebar. So you can have the main content right here and you may have something like the, like the ads in this part and another content. But let's take this in a more complex design. For example, let's add inside these divs, right after the red one, let's add another div with the class row. And let's close this one right here. Close this one. And then we have large, again, div with the class, large eight columns. And let's close this one right here. And let's add another div with the class large four columns. And then we close this one right here. So these ones are called nested rows. It's a row inside another row. So let's save and reload. You can see we have a much more complex design. You can also have something like large four, close this one right here, and dip with the class large four columns. So you have three divs with the same width. So foundation is really, really powerful, especially in this part of the, in this component called the grid. For example, if I make this smaller, this is one of the coolest things because you can make this smaller and this is going to be fully responsive. You don't have to do anything else. You only add the correct classes in the correct order and you will have a fully responsive design in your website. And I think the the grid is one of the most powerful components in Foundation. So in the next video, let's, go, let's take a look at some of the components that we have, some of the utilities that we have in Foundation to center text, create buttons and things like that. So see you there.